On September 4, 2025, anticipation filled Starbase, Texas, as the world's eyes turned to the Gulf Coast. The air was thick with excitement and nerves, as thousands of spectators, engineers, and journalists gathered to witness a pivotal moment in spaceflight history. Starship, SpaceX's ambitious next-generation rocket, prepared for its highly anticipated 10th flight. The vehicle stood gleaming on the pad, a symbol of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. The Super Heavy booster and Starship upper stage stood ready, aiming to push the boundaries of reusable rocketry. This wasn't just another test, it was a demonstration of how far rapid development and bold engineering could take us. Each launch is a public test of SpaceX's philosophy, rapid, iterative progress, where every success and failure is broadcast for the world to see. The team in Mission Control braced for the unknown, knowing that every second would be scrutinized. The world watched, expecting another leap toward Mars. Social media buzzed with speculation, and news outlets provided live coverage, amplifying the sense of global participation in this historic event. The countdown was smooth, engines ignited and the rockets soared. At first everything looked perfect. The Raptor engines thundered to life, propelling Starship skyward in a spectacle of fire and sound. But spaceflight is unforgiving and perfection is always fleeting. Mid-ascent a sudden flash in the engine bay signaled disaster. In an instant, months of preparation collided with the harsh realities of rocket science. Simultaneously ground cameras caught the quick disconnect arm on the launch mount taking heavy damage. The launch pad itself bore the scars of the attempt, a reminder of the immense forces at play. Even after 10 flights Starship is still a work in progress. Each mission reveals new challenges and every landing, successful or not, adds to the growing body of knowledge. These setbacks, while disappointing, are woven into SpaceX's process – fly, fail, learn, and fly again. The team's resilience is tested, but their resolve only grows stronger with each hurdle. Unlike traditional aerospace, SpaceX treats each flight as a data-gathering mission. Every anomaly is an opportunity to improve, and every scrap of telemetry is poured over for answers. The explosion and ground equipment damage weren't just failures, they were lessons. Each setback is a stepping stone, not a dead end, in the relentless march toward reusability. For SpaceX engineers, the real mission began after the flight, analyzing data to prevent future mishaps. In conference rooms and labs, teams dissect every detail, determined to turn today's problems into tomorrow's solutions. Every setback is a step closer to operational reusability. The process of rebuilding, repairing and refining is as important as the launch itself, forging a path toward rockets that can fly again and again. The journey to Mars is paved with these hard-won lessons, each flight bringing humanity closer to the Red Planet and a future among the stars. Flight 10's troubles began with a sudden blinding orange flare in the Super Heavy's engine bay, a catastrophic explosion that instantly signaled something had gone terribly wrong. In a matter of seconds, the heart of the booster was engulfed in fire, a stark reminder of the immense forces and risks at play every time a rocket leaves the ground. The booster's dense network of pipes and valves, each carrying super-chilled propellants under extreme pressure, makes even a tiny leak dangerous. A single crack or loose fitting can trigger chain reactions, risking not just the loss of control but the destruction of the entire vehicle in a flash. Despite the violent blast, the booster managed to fly for a brief moment, demonstrating remarkable resilience and the robust engineering behind it. But the damage was severe, and the mission's fate was sealed almost instantly. Engineers now suspect a propellant leak, an ever-present risk in such a complex, high-stakes system. Tracing the exact source is a painstaking process requiring careful analysis of every component and data point. The second glitch struck at liftoff. The quick disconnect arm designed to pull away cleanly failed to retract in time, colliding with the rocket and suffering major damage. This mechanical misstep added another layer of complexity to an already tense launch. This wasn't just a rocket problem but a choreography failure between vehicle and ground support. Every movement on the pad must be perfectly timed, and even a minor miscalculation can have dramatic consequences. Timing at launch is everything. A split-second error can cripple the pad for weeks, halting progress and forcing teams to re-examine every step of the process. For SpaceX, rapid launches depend on robust, reliable ground systems. Any delay is a major setback, threatening the company's ambitious schedule and goals for reusability. Both failures highlight the razor-thin margins in rocketry, where success and failure are separated by milliseconds and millimeters. 
Every glitch is a clue for the next iteration, a lesson written in fire and steel, pushing engineers to innovate, adapt, and ultimately, to try again. SpaceX's Starship challenges echo NASA's space shuttle era, drawing striking parallels between two generations of ambitious spaceflight. Both programs set out to revolutionize access to space, but quickly discovered the immense complexity of making rockets reusable and reliable. The shuttle's three main engines were high performance but notoriously hard to maintain, with tiny flaws leading to major failures. Each flight demanded a painstaking inspection, as even the smallest crack or imperfection could spell disaster for the next mission. NASA's cautious, methodical approach meant months of inspection after each flight, slowing progress. The need for absolute safety often clashed with the dream of rapid, routine launches, turning every mission into a massive logistical effort. Starship's engine bay explosion recalls the shuttle's constant battle with leaks and turbine issues, but SpaceX faces this with 33 engines, not three. The scale of the challenge has grown, multiplying the potential points of failure and the complexity of troubleshooting. The quick disconnect damage also mirrors shuttle-era struggles with complex ground connections and precise timing. Every launch depends on a flawless choreography between rocket and ground systems, where a single misstep can halt the countdown. Reusability brings relentless stress on both vehicles and ground systems. Heat shields, engines and support equipment all endure repeated cycles of intense heat, vibration and wear, demanding constant vigilance and innovation. NASA learned that making reusable spaceflight routine is far harder than imagined. The dream of a space truck quickly gave way to the reality of endless repairs, upgrades and unexpected setbacks. SpaceX is now wrestling with these same challenges but with a faster, risk-tolerant approach. Instead of months of analysis they often choose to test, fail and iterate rapidly, hoping to accelerate learning and innovation. The core problems, engine reliability and ground support, are timeless. No matter the era, these technical hurdles remain the gatekeepers to routine, affordable spaceflight. The difference is in how quickly SpaceX is willing to learn from failure. Each setback is treated as a lesson, fueling the next attempt with new data and fresh determination. The quest for routine space access remains as tough as ever. But with each launch, both past and present, humanity inches closer to making space a part of everyday life. Managing 33 Raptor engines is an engineering marathon. Each engine is a complex machine and all must ignite, throttle and steer in perfect harmony. A single failure can cascade, threatening the entire booster. The interconnected plumbing means a problem in one area can ripple through the system. Vibrations from so many engines create brutal stresses, risking structural failure. The software must monitor and adjust every engine in real time. One bug or bad sensor could spell disaster. Even with robust design, more engines mean more potential failure points. SpaceX's Raptor is built for reliability, but numbers work against them. The tyranny of complexity is relentless. Every flight is a test of both hardware and software under extreme conditions. In traditional aerospace, a rocket failure means years of investigation and delays. SpaceX flips the script, fail fast, learn faster. Each Starship flight is an experiment, not a final product. The engine bay explosion on Flight 10 wasn't just a setback. It was a gold mine of data. SpaceX's rapid iteration means no two Starships are identical. Every failure leads to immediate design changes. Hardware is sacrificed for knowledge and speed. This approach is only possible because the flights are uncrewed, allowing for higher risk. While NASA perfected the shuttle on the ground, SpaceX perfects Starship in the air. The result? Faster progress, more learning, and a path to operational reusability. It's a high-risk, high-reward strategy. The goal is to reach Mars before caution slows the dream. The quick disconnect arm is the last link between rocket and pad, delivering fuel and data until liftoff. On Flight 10, its failure was anticipated, a known risk, closely monitored. SpaceX accepts that some parts will break, it's part of the plan. Instead of over-engineering, they build, fly and see what fails. Every broken part is a data point, revealing real-world weaknesses simulations can't predict. The QD arm's failure will directly inform a stronger, faster design. This is engineering by trial, empirical, relentless and fast. Broken hardware is the price of progress. Each failure makes the next launch pad more resilient. SpaceX's approach is a high-stakes gamble, trading frequent failures for rapid progress. The reward? A reusable system that could make Mars possible. But the risks are real. Fail fast works for uncrewed tests, not for missions with people or valuable cargo. At some point reliability must take precedence over speed. 
History warns of the dangers. The Soviet N-1 rocket failed for similar reasons. Too many engines, too much complexity, too little time. SpaceX hopes modern tech and relentless iteration will break that cycle. The legacy of Flight 10 will depend on whether these lessons lead to true reliability. Setbacks aren't signs of failure, they're the cost of ambition. Each broken part brings SpaceX closer to Mars. The gamble embrace failure now to build a robust system for the future. The alternative is caution, and a dream forever out of reach.